بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم وی آر ایچ ایس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سم اپ آور کنورٹر کانسیپٹس وتھ دا ہیلپ آف ہائر آرڈر کنورٹرس مین کنٹیننگ مور دین ون انڈکٹر اینڈ کیپیسٹر نیم چک کنورٹر اینڈ دس از آر سرکٹ The output voltage magnitude of this converter can be larger or smaller than the input. But here is the reversal in the polarity of output with respect to input. As you can see here that our input was plus 12 volt and our output which is minus 18 volt. As you can see here also that we have two inductors here and two capacitors. In the buck converter video we said that there is no power loss ideally from the source to the load. Let me show you why. Here we have applied voltage differential markers across the inductors this one and this one. If we take their average value we can see that it has zero value when it reaches a steady state. So by formula of power that is P is equals to V cross I we get zero value. And we have also applied the current markers across the both capacitors. We have seen that its average value is zero when it has reaches the steady state. So again power is zero by P is equals to V cross I formula. So by applying the voltage differential at inductor it is called as voltage second balance to each inductor and applying current markers to capacitor is called charge balance at each capacitor. Now we will go through each of these graphs and remaining voltages and currents that how they are appearing the way they are appearing. As you can see that we have this circuit for the switch is closed and this one when the switch is open. So we can see that this is our inductor voltage L1 across this inductor and it is Vg when switch is closed. That is our input source that is plus 12 volt. And when the switch is open it is Vg minus Vc1 and Vc is here. As and Vc is charging from the current that is IC, IC1 and which can be find out or, or right here. This IC1 current is actually charging our capacitor C1 in both cases. So the way where it is positive peak it is charging the capacitor and when it goes to the negative peak it slightly discharges the capacitor and how this capacitor current is appearing it is because of this formula when the switch goes close or you can say it is off it is because of the inductor 2 current when it is open it is due to inductor current and these can be find out If we place here V is equals to L di by dt formula and cross multiply we will get the slope of inductor in all these four equations in first two rows. So moving on now this capacitor current is appearing because of these IL2 and IC1 
which can be seen here and these equations can be find out by their or by these two rows when it is purple purple is showing l2 that when the switch is closed and ic1 is equals to il2 and when it is open it is actually the yellow current which is shown at its positive peak so that is how the current are appearing and this current is actually the load capacitor current which is il2 when the switch is closed that is this one as you can see this from here and this can be find out by applying formula here and ic2 that is the capacitor 2 current that can be find out by the load current by here so moving on our inductor 2 voltage is appearing right here which can be find out by this formula that is minus vc1 minus vc2 minus vg is right here if we apply negative sign to it it will reverse or you can say it will become some positive value and it is minus from here so it will give some positive value actually this is plus 12 volt so it becomes minus 12 it is 0 so we will get minus 12 value and when it is open we can see that it is minus vc2 which is actually this one vc2 is here it is some negative value let us say that it is minus 3 volt so it will become positive 3 volt when it goes off so that's all for the graph in our boost converter video we said that why does a converter looks like a way it like this why it looks like this so we know that this inductor is actually acting as a filter for DC supply it acts as a filter for DC supply so to prevent the harmonic contact and unlike to the previous converters where the associated inductors act as a source of energy here this capacitor which is acting as a source of energy which is charging and discharging too it discharges when it is assumed that for the switch is open when it is already charged it is supplying its energy to load when it is open it is actually charging the capacitor so then calculations the duty cycle can be find out by high the time that is the and uh, sorry by the high time dividing by total time then d is equals to 0 0.6 and the output voltage can be find out by this formula this duty cycle is greater than 0 0.5 it gives us high value in magnitude and if it is less than 0 0.5 it will give us low value in magnitude it will always be in reversal of polarity with the input as we know that the inductor current is always has a dc component that is the ripple component like this in formula so if we know our requirements that that our requirement is this v volt we can also find out its resistance but it will but it will done later first we need to find out what current are required if we have an output voltage of 18 volt actually we will get the inductor current this and we know we are distincting our ripple current equal to 10% of the total DC component so it will look like 0.22 and the IC1 would be find out like this its triple component will be 10% of it 
that will then comes out to be 0.33 inductor's value can be find out by the ripple current this is very important the ripple factor of inductor which we have said to determine the value of inductor so all right so it can be find out by this formula that is switching frequency which is 1 over t of where t is the total time period l1 is find out by this formula the capacitor at opposite side or you can say at uh, output side can be find out by this here we are restricting our output voltage ripple equal to the 0.01 and we are getting this value for capacitor the average voltage across capacitor is find out by u1 minus vs minus v0 because energy is stored in capacitor c1 so it will be 30 volt and we are distincting our input voltage ripple for capacitor that will be equal to 0.05 it is not the same as that one so this voltage or you can say change in voltage determines actually the capacitor value and the resistance of the load is calculated by this that is v not square by p which is calculated and power is uh, basically v not square by r from where r is calculated and that's all for the circuit now let us make our circuit again create file new project name it whatever you like i will name it like cc32 okay create a blank project okay then first we have to make our new simulation profile click it like this and again name it i will name it again cc323 open then run to time i will make it 5 milliseconds and maximum step size would be 100 microseconds okay and the noun as next one is to find our components first of all we need is the dc voltage source that is vdc this is our voltage probe hmm ground connect ground then run it i 
as you can see the output voltage is minus 20 thank you for watching allah hafiz